So welcome back to Vulnerable Hub and a new series of new machines on Vulnerable Hub site. So basically today I will solve Topo or Topo. I don't know how to pronounce Topo basically, but our machine today is Topo here. The objective is to get root access and uh, it's uh, written that the machine is not hard, it's beginner. Okay. And the machine is beginner as they said so let's first start by scanning the machines but basically before uh, you will see the IP address of the machine here which is the HTTP assigned so you don't need to uh, use net discover in order to find the IP address of the machine so basically here we have the IP address uh, I have done the NLAB scan so not to wait for the scanning time etc so I have used aggressive uh, scan for all ports and the IP of the variable machine so basically first we have SSH and we have TCP, uh, HTTP and other two open ports but they don't come into any usage during the walkthrough that I am providing right now so let's go first this web page of or how the web page looks like. So basically, this is the web page of the uh, machine Clean Blog. It is programmed using uh, Bootstrap, and uh, yes, that's the home page. So your first step is go to your first. First step is using Nikto to scan the web page or the website for possible or potential vulnerabilities. So one nine two six eight one one nine one eight three. So we should get now a couple of hints from Nikto, which can use to find our opportunities into getting good access. So basically, here we have the admin. Okay, now you get the admin directory you go to the main page type admin slash admin and you'll see that there is directory indexing here if you click on notes so on notes here we will find that the author has written a note to himself saying that I need to change my password which is this which is too outdated, but the technology is not my thing. I prefer go fishing or watching soccer. So let's grab this password. Now the user of this password is on SSH. So you need to use this password to log in into SSH. But you might be wondering what is the user that we may use in order to log in into SSH. So basically there is a hint here from the password, which is Ted. So Ted is your user or the user you're gonna use in order to log in into SSH. So SSH Ted six eight one nine twenty-three and here we go we we'll type the password or well, let's copy the password again. So here I have, I have copied the password here, let's try to take it, copy, okay, so now we have SSH access, easy right, it's so easy, you just grab the password from a vulnerable web server whose admin or the administrator has forgotten to disable directory indexing, so basically directory indexing directory indexing right now is an own vulnerability okay so these kind of vulnerabilities are not present in the current websites or server you rarely come across or run across a website which has directory indexing enabled so that's the first disadvantage of this machine so it lets the pen testers or the ctf layer um, 
it tests the ability to find very old vulnerability, ancient vulnerability. But it's okay for beginners to practice those kind of ancient vulnerabilities and to get to know what are what is in directory indexing and etc. So now after exploiting directory indexing, we need to find our way into privilege escalation. So long story short. During privilege escalation, you may try to see the home directory. We have dead, so dead. As you can see, we have nothing. Okay. Bonus plus or a, a plus point is I'm gonna tell you that during privilege escalation, it's uh, very practical to use Linux exploits suggester. So let's navigate to them. So here I have downloaded Linux exploit suggester. Okay. So I advise you during privileged escalation to use this tool inside the target box because this tool will list the potential vulnerabilities that might work against the machine. So CD. Uh, okay, so it seems that the directory is this one. So let's execute. Now you see the output of the tool. It is showing or displaying the possible vulnerabilities that, or the possible exploits that may work against the machine if you go ahead and download the, each, of, each one of those exploits. But unfortunately, I tried those exploits and none of them worked. Uh, it's because uh, well, some of them didn't work because there are. Uh, missed parameters or tools that require them to run inside the box and some of them didn't work because the machine is not vulnerable to those exploits okay so our second step is go back so here we need to know who are the sudoers I mean who are the privileged users on the machine this is your first attacking vector in order to have good access on this machine. So you need to know what are the sudoers or the privileged users and what they can do. So I may have mistyped so alright. So here we have it says that Ted okay can execute the arc on this system without any need for password. It means that Ted can execute awk as a privileged user without the need for sudo. So how can we harness this information or data? Basically, Ted, when Ted executes awk, awk anything that is executed by awk is executed as super user, meaning that root. So what is awk? Awk is basically a scripting language in Linux to gather information, extract data for reporting purposes, etc. So it's scripting language and can be used to execute commands. Okay. So how can we use Arc to execute commands? So let's go to my file here. So in my file I have written all some of the privileged escalation vectors that I, uh, I have come across. So here we have the use of arc to execute system commands so arc here the command is written here so instead of command you write your own command so let's write who am I yes there is a problem here so it says I am root why? Because I'm executing awk and awk is executed as super user by Ted. So let's execute another command, which is this time, let's see, ls la root to see what is inside the directory. So we have our flag here. 
So now, let's say instead of listing the files, let's say flag.txt. So we have our flag on this machine. So basically, this machine is super easy and it is let me let let's say it's it's realistic, but it's not all the way realistic because uh, I mean uh, there is no way. I mean 20 percent chance, ten percent chance you see a, a site which has directory indexing enabled. So the the starting point we use in order to get into SSH is grabbing the password of the admin. If directory indexing would not be enabled, we would not be able to grab the password and log into, into SSH. So we would be forced into trying other ways. But, in, but uh, with respect or in respect to awk, yes, sometimes you see the awk scripting language or the awk command here is executed by uh, normal users in a privileged circumstances. So that's with the, this machine. Hope you enjoy it, guys. And we'll do a couple of machines tomorrow. Basic pen testing too. We have so much work to do. And hope you enjoy it.